September 11, 2001, America's worst nightmare became a reality. Terrorists attacked sites in New York City, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. Led by full-time U.S. military soldiers, a coalition of international forces assumed primary responsibility for engaging a largely unseen enemy. Broken down. For President Obama, it's the war on terrorism 2.0. Meeting with his own coalition of the willing of Arab partners during meetings of the United Nations, Mr. Obama warned this new fight won't be over soon. Because of the almost unprecedented effort of this coalition, uh, I think we now have an opportunity to send a very clear message that the world is united. And the battle is only beginning, as the U.S. and its partners are not only taking on ISIS, but an Al-Qaeda-linked group the president never mentioned in his speech to the nation earlier this month period of secrecy administration officials say they used to size up Khorasan for a potential strike. We also took strikes to disrupt plotting against the United States and our allies by seasoned al-Qaeda operatives in Syria who are known as the Khorasan group. It's also a new day for the president who once won a Nobel Peace Prize after building his political career promising to get the U.S. out of what he called dumb wars, a vow he reiterated almost one year ago. I was elected to end war, not and I know you feel like I've spent the last four and a half years doing everything I can to reduce our reliance on military power uh, as a means of meeting our international obligations and protecting the American people. Now, Mr. Obama is playing terrorist whack-a-mole, considering the countries he's targeted as president. One fellow Democrat complained too much power has been wielded to the commander-in-chief. If Congress allows the president to begin this campaign against ISIL, and as he said, go on offense against ISIL, without Congress authorizing, we will have created a horrible precedent. The strikes have set a tough new tone for the president's trip to the UN. It was up to his UN ambassador, Samantha Power, to notify Syria that the strikes were coming. As he strives to stop bad things from happening around the world, the rest of us are supposed to do more to make good things happen.